Hello guys, I am back. Yes, it's been three or four weeks. I don't have an excuse. I've just been really lazy and quite frankly, I haven't had any inspiration to do any videos and I have had no idea what to do. So, it's going to be a really quick video today, but I saw some other you it, is my lighting okay I know this is completely random is this lighting like a good lighting I'm being blinded right now like I just I got these new light bulbs and they are daylight light bulbs and they are bright as I don't know what and they're literally blinding me right now but anyway I saw some youtubers review a beauty box. Um, the one I remember the most is TNS, 11th Gorgeous. You know, I don't know if you've ever heard of them before. But this is the Walmart beauty box and it is, technically it's free. That, that's what it says on the website and you get it every, you get four times a year. It's seasonal so once, one for every season I guess. But you have to pay shipping and it's $5. So technically you're just getting the box for $5. That's that's how I look at it. I mean, you know. And the box is pretty cute. It looks like this. It's pretty big, actually. But um, I just got this in the mail the other day. I did already open it. <laughs> you know how I do. But um, I'm just going to jump right in. And this is what... The box looks like when you open it, it comes with a little card and it says, help define your beauty. And then it's just got like, you know, standard tissue paper and you open it and hold on, you can't see some of the stuff. And this is what's inside. I'm just going to show you guys what's inside. Okay. The first thing in here that's that, um, I guess caught my eye, not really caught my eye, but it was the first thing I looked at, is the Aveeno Active Naturals Daily Moisturizing Lotion and Sheer Hydration. First video you've made in a month, Danielle, and you can't talk right. <laughs> it's in the scent Soothing Oatmeal. Um, it doesn't smell like anything. I really don't think it smells like anything, but it, it's not full size. It's like a teeny little, this is, this is a good size to like throw in your purse. I do not use lotion or hand cream like this. I just don't like, I don't, it's just not my thing. I don't have dry hands. I don't, you should see my collection of hand creams from Ipsy. <laughs> they have all gone untouched, but that was the first thing in there second thing in here is also like a travel size. It's not a full size. It's the Dove Deep bleh, deep Moisture Nutrium Nourishing Body Wash. Now this, it smells really good, but I do not like this kind of body wash that's creamy. I can't stand creamy body washes and it, I feel like it leaves a residue on my skin and it smells soapy on your skin. Like it just smells... I used it the other day. It just smells like soap. It's not my forte. I usually like the other kinds of body wash that's kind of more, I don't know what the word for it is, uh, liquidier, clear, like the body wash you would get from Victoria's Secret or Bath and Body Works, that kind of body wash. I just don't like the creamy ones. They, I, just, ugh. I don't think they smell as good and they feel heavy on my skin. But... I will use it and it is usable. So, all right, the next thing in here, which I was actually the most excited about in the entire box, is Burt's Bees Facial Cleansing Towelettes with a white tea extract. And there's 10 of these in here. This is a pretty good size. Like, this would last me a while. Be good to just leave in your purse to travel with. I love makeup wipes. So. And they smell pretty good. Like, they smell really fresh. So I'm really excited for these. You bust that on with using these. Alright, and then the last actual, like, item in the box is this lip gloss from CoverGirl. It's the Colorlicious Lip Gloss and Juicy Fruit. It just looks like this. It's not very opaque. 
it's kind of sticky. I don't know. I haven't used it on my lips yet, but this is the only full-size product in the box. And this is the only makeup product in the box. But it's a lip gloss. I'll try it. Pretty cool. The rest of the things in this box are samples. And then the first sample I'm seeing is like a flower perfume tester thing from the flower beauty line that's sold at Walmart I believe and it has three samples of perfume not samples but you can see what it smells like so you can see if you like it all right the next sample in here is L'Oreal color vibrancy shampoo conditioner and instant shock treatment it comes with just like the little foil packets I'm not big on these because I can get like maybe one or two uses out of them so I can't really tell if I like them or not and I just don't really like foil packets because I never end up using them and the last thing in the box is I don't know why it's stuck to this but it is is another foil packet and it's from John Frieda it's the touchably full for color treated hair shampoo and conditioner these are both for color treated hair like I don't know why give a girl some stuff for damaged hair please cuz that's what I need but that's it that's all that was in the box um my thoughts this box is five dollars I mean it's really do you get your money's worth yeah I mean, it was only $5. You got some samples and then maybe like one full size product. I do wish that it was geared more towards makeup instead of like, I just, I don't know. I feel like they threw random stuff in here. Like, oh, let's just throw a lotion in there and a body wash and some perfume samples. Woo. Um, but for $5, it is, I guess it is worth the money technically because this is more than $5 in here. For just the lip gloss alone, I'm sure. But, um, another thing is, I don't like how it's only four times a year a box like that. I don't want to say insignificant, but something that doesn't come with a lot and doesn't offer a lot. Maybe, like, offer it a little bit more often so you can show your, I don't know, like, show different things that you may have. And if I'm not mistaken, they have one box that goes out to younger age group and one box that goes out to the older age group so I don't really know the difference between the two I haven't seen a different box than this the one from that I saw from TNS was the exact same so there is no personalization you can't take a quiz or anything and get it personalized um, anything like that so it's just pretty much you order it and you get it um, I do know Target has a beauty box and I'm not sure how often they change it but it is seven dollars and you just order it once and that's it and that's pretty much it and the other beauty subscription that I've subscribed to is Ipsy. I love Ipsy. I would recommend you to subscribe to Ipsy. It's only $10 a month. But I'll just go into detail about that in my next video because I am doing my Ipsy unbagging. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you found it helpful and I'll see you in my next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.